Welcome to Teen Entertainment Network, or TIN as we like to call it. I'm Josh along with Caitlin and Krista, and today we are hanging out with Steven Christopher. This guy has some crazy pipes. Guy. For those of you who are into R&B music, you will absolutely love Steven. With his dashing good looks that all the ladies swoon over and stellar voice, there is absolutely no reason why this guy won't go far. Steven, who hails from Atlanta, Georgia, has a new song out called Breathe, and you can check that out on SoundCloud. You definitely should because it is really amazing. So for those who don't know you, describe yourself in three words. Wow. Um, I'd say uh, probably ambitious, um, uh, creative, uh, a little weird, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Those are good ones. Yeah, I think it's like really good when someone's weird. I like when people call me weird. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the the world should embrace more weird individuals. I think all the all the great artists in the world yeah, are pretty weird or, or different, you know. So. Yeah, definitely. What does it take to be successful in the music industry? Wow. Um, Definitely just uh, kind of definitely studying, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to do and, um, you know, always trying to be better, um, you know, not not wanting to be complacent because, um, you know, as an artist, you know, if people are following you, they always want to see you, you know, progress and get better and you should want that for yourself. So um, definitely that and, um, you know, patience because these days, well, I guess with anything that's good, it doesn't, you know, happen overnight. So... Uh, that's been, you know, a lesson for me, definitely. What or who would you say inspires your music? Hmm. What? Uh, definitely real-life situations and relationships. Um, you know, I, I, I try and write from an honest place. So, um, you know, definitely that. Uh, as far as who, uh, I'm really influenced by a lot of older artists. Um, you're Stevie Wonder and... Michael Jackson, Prince, um, uh, as far as uh, uh, artists that are out now, Usher, Drake, um, Frank Ocean. So just anybody that's 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 um, you know really good, Kanye West. But you know, again, I, I just appreciate any artist that uh, that that studies what it is that they do and, and do it and pull it off to the best of it, you know best of their ability. Yeah, I totally agree with those. I'm a big fan of those artists also. What are some words of encouragement you could share with a young adult trying to get into music? Um, probably just stay true to who you are. Um, it's a lot of... It's hard to put your music out and put your art out to be judged by other people. It's a, it's a really scary thing. You know, you put so much into it and... and um, you don't always know how it's going to be perceived, and, and you always want it to be, you know, taken well, but, you know, you just never know. And so um, putting something that's that big of a part of you out there is, is a scary thing. So I just, you know, tell them, um, be true to who you are and believe in what it is that you do and, and you know, never waver from that. So where would you like to see your music in five years? Wow, in five years. Um, I'd like to be touring the world and... and uh, being able to, to share it with you know, people overseas. Um, I like to uh, see it everywhere, movies, TV. Um, there are so many other things I, I like to do also outside of music. So um, I'd really like to find a way to marry all those things together um, you know, and, and just create music that everybody can, can relate to. I don't, I don't really want to be placed in just the R&B lane or... Um, you know, some of the music that you guys are going to hear will, you know, have some pop influences, but uh, at the same time, I, I just want some, I want to make the type of music that everybody, you know, can relate to, anybody that wants to hear some honesty and, and um, you know, something they can really relate to as far as, you know, emotions, so, um, yeah. Cool. I like that, very ambitious. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite part about performing live? The reaction from the crowd, it's, it's crazy. Um, I opened for uh, digging OMG Girls a while back, and uh, just that, 
the energy that you get get back it, it's instant and you know it's something that you don't necessarily get uh, in the studio you know you, you're there sometimes by yourself or with a small group of people so you know having them get that energy back to you and 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 sing your songs back and and scream for you is, is nothing like it it's definitely a rush so um, you know that's I think that's probably the most exciting thing about about performing live. Um, what is something you would like to tell yourself when you were just starting out as a musician? Oh. Um, again, just be patient. Um, you know, stay true to who you are. Uh, a lot of times as an artist, people try to, I guess, put on you who you should be, you know, and tell you who you should be and tell you what your sound, you know, should be. But I found that kind of sticking to what it is that I want to do and and and, and what I believe and, and having my own point of view is, is what's really drawing people to me as opposed to, you know, sometimes where I felt maybe I was trying to be like another artist or, or, or trying to fit in, you know, being myself and, and just doing, you know, just being myself and, and, and doing what, what I love and, and putting my own point of view out there is, is um, I feel like it's, it's drawing more attention. So I would definitely tell myself to do that. Yeah. That's good advice for anything. Yeah. <laughs> awesome advice. What are you currently working on? Well, um, my EP, Love Heart, is done. So uh, we're going to be rolling out all the music for that over the next couple of weeks. Um, my music video for Breathe is coming out. Should be next week. Um, really excited about that. Uh, probably one of the biggest uh, undertakings I've, I've ever done. Uh, we shot out in, in LA in the desert, so it's a uh, it's a really, really dope clip. I'm really excited about that. Um, worked on a uh, worked on it with a really great director, Stephen Butler. Um, so that uh, really excited for everybody here. The entire EP. And uh, because I, I feel like Breathe is, is an awesome record, um, but there's just so much more that that's on the, the, the EP that I want people to hear and right. different colors and different uh, parts of me that, that are there that, you know, you just don't get on one song. So uh, that'll be what's next, you know, just making sure that uh, everybody hears all the music um, and then definitely getting out and doing some performance. That's awesome. Yeah. We're definitely excited. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Do you have any advice to aspiring musicians? Just maintain a maintain a uh, a different point of view. I think there are so many artists out there, but when you have your own point of view, when you have something to offer that's unique, you kind of shine through the crowd. So um, just be unique. You know, be yourself. Uh, there's only one you out there. So you know, just do that. Awesome. Yeah. So, what would be your your advice to someone who is like struggling to reach their goals? They're trying and trying, and it's just not happening. So, what would you what advice would you give it to give to them? If it's something that you love, you know, you just you gotta stick to it. it there, with anything that's worth having, it's, it's always gonna be some um, some hard times. It's gonna be some pitfalls. Everything's not always gonna work out the way that you want. You know, I've definitely experienced that, but I think it, it separates the people that just want to, you know, maybe be famous. Mm -hmm. They really have a have a love for what they, you know, what they're doing and uh, want something more. You know, when you want something more, you know, those struggles, you understand that it comes with it. And you, you know, you believe in yourself to a point that, you know, no matter where I am right now, it, you know, it's not always going to be this way. Um, you know, things... Uh, time moves on, and you know you'll never stay in the same place. So if you keep to it, if you stick to what you're doing, um, if you're dedicated, you know, to your talent and, and to your gift, you know, I, I feel like you know everything is bound to line up, and, and you're you're bound to to win. That's right. great advice for not even just the music industry, but really anything. Um, yeah. so here at I am. We love to talk about fashion and personal style, and get. Everyone that we interview is take on that. So, how would you define fashion? Fashion. Um, for me, uh, fashion is is something. 
I, I, I like very clean styles. I like very um, classy things. Um, I, I don't really like. Tr I, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't like trends, but uh, I just always I've always gravitated to more simplest, you know, simplicity with anything. Um, I think it comes off really well. I think it's, you know, I think simplicity, simplicity is sexy. I love what's going on right now as far as, um, you know, all the black movement and mm -hmm. um, and the high fashion, you know, as far as artists uh, that I think combine music and, and, and fashion. I think Kanye is great at that, um, you know, and, and very inspiring in, in a way that, you know, you can create a whole nother world, you know, but still, you know, marry your music with it. So, um, yeah, fashion for me is, I think it goes hand in hand with the music. You know, your image is everything. Um, and it kind of gives people more of an idea of who you are, and, you know, what your music is. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So how would you describe your personal style? Um, again, probably, you know, minimalist. Um, Simple, uh, street, uh, a, a lot of street style. Um, I don't dress up very much, <laughs> and, um, but you know I, I like to be comfortable. You know, um, at the same time, I like to be com comfortable. I like to look like I, you know, I'm put together. Um, you know, uh, I, I like to look like money, but at the same time, you know, I don't like to look like I'm trying. Um, so just yeah. simplicity and and um, just really good classic. Uh, pieces. Awesome. How does your everyday style differ differ from your performance style? Um, it, uh, I don't think it really does. I think for performances, you kind of have to, you know, take it up to the you know a, a notch. You know, just because for showmanship, um, you want to be up there and you want to have all eyes on you. So you know, you have to differentiate differentiate yourself from the DJ or the band. You know, so I think you just step it up a notch, but I, I don't think it should be that far away from you know your, your person, your personal style. You don't want to be you know two different people, you know, just day to day, and then the person on, on stage, fans can't connect. Yeah. You talked about Kanye, but is there anyone else who really inspires your personal style or even your style of music? I think just the the you know everybody today and and. Everybody these days are, are, you know, are really into fashion, and so just, you know, kids off the street, you know, what they wear, you know, inspires me. Um, I don't think it's, it's it, these days it's not necessarily just exclusive to, you know, fashion houses and and you know, runway and all that kind of stuff. It's it's a runway every day, just walking out, you know, walking down the street, and so right. um, you know that's a huge inspiration. Um, New York itself, like I go and visit New York a lot, and, and I just, you know, I get inspired every time I go. Just you know, the people on the street and and the personal style. So um, definitely that, you know, it, it inspired me. I actually the first time I went to New York, I think was the first time I was like, man, I want to learn how to dress. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, I want to, you know, I want when I step out, I want to have a look. You know, because everybody on the street there, they have a look. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's I think that's cool. It's just a, a our expression of who you are inside. Yeah, I, I visited New York last year, and I was just so surprised about how open people were with their fashion. They were just so not like afraid to try different <laughs> stuff. And I really admire that. Street New York, and it's people in tutus, and you know, just anything. And it's like nobody cares. And what is your fashion advice to others? Uh, do what's comfortable for you. Um, you know, I don't think it's. I don't think you have to conform um, in, in any way. Just be yourself uh, and and do what makes you feel good. Wear what makes you feel good. Um, if you put something on and you feel and you look in the mirror and you feel a little bit more confident, that's probably what you need to put on. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Like embrace the weird, like you said. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Everybody's weird some way. I, I think, you know, everybody has a quirk or something, whether they're you know whether they share it or, or not, whether it's you know outward and in, inward. Somebody, ha everybody has something that, that sets them aside. Yeah. You know? Most definitely. What yeah. is your go-to fashion piece when you're in a hurry? 
t-shirt and, and some ripped jeans and either some Tim's or Jordan's or uh, Retro J's. Yeah. yeah. What I got on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Jordan trend is kind of cool. I really like the Jordans on people. Yeah, I mean, it's a classic shoe, and it's not very many tennis shoes that uh, or sneakers that um, you can wear with really anything. You can, you know, dress it down, you can dress it up, um, and it still come off as, as a great-looking shoe. So, you know, I definitely apply, you know, the designers and enjoy all that. But, I mean, who doesn't love, you know, a retro J? <laughs> right. Okay, so at I am, we run an interactive anti-bullying campaign all year round to encourage teens to be the one who takes the ultimate stand to bullying. Hashtag be the one who. What do? You, what, hashtag be the one who. What do you think about bullying and those who have to go through it? What is your advice also for someone who is trying to stand up for a peer or friend who is being bully, bullied? Um. Hmm. Well, for one, a bully I think is somebody who. Uh, isn't happy with themselves in some way. Uh, a lot of times I think they probably see something in somebody else, uh, a trait that maybe they wish they, they possess, and, you know, they're upset about it and, and they act out on it, you know. They try to make, they try to make that, that person feel as bad as they do about themselves or, 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 you know, whatever situation they're in, I think. So, uh, um, you know, that's one thing that you have to know. It, it's not you that, that's you know, you're not attracting that. Nine times out of ten, if somebody is hating on you or, or uh, you know, not treating you well, it's it's usually something within themselves. Um, as far as people standing up, you have to. You know, some people don't have it within themselves to be able to uh, to to stand up. You know, and if you have the if you are outside of a situation, you and you have the ability to make a change. You know, definitely do that. Um, I'm one of those people, if, if I see anything, you know, that, and it's probably to a fault, but, you know, when I see something that's not fair or or, or right, you know, I definitely stand up and, and, and speak up, you know, because, again, some people just don't have it, you know, in them to do it themselves, and you don't want some, somebody to do the same for you. All right. Moving on to our fun rapid fire questions, you're just going to answer these with the first thing that comes to mind. To start off, what is your favorite TV show right now? Oh, um, uh, how to get away with murder. No way. I love that show. Yeah, that's my favorite TV. That's a toss up between that and Chicago Fire or Chicago PD. Oh, I love those too. <laughs> um, what is your favorite thing to do? Movies. Movies? Uh, I go to the movies by myself. I, I I don't care. I try and see everything that that uh, that comes out. I'm I'm kind of sad because, well, I was working on the video for all this past week, so I didn't get a chance to go and see Dracula. Uh, I think the whatever the prequel to, but uh, I'm going to see that this weekend. So, awesome. Well, speaking of movies, what is your all-time favorite movie? Hmm. I don't have I don't I don't think I have an all time favorite movie. Um, well, what's one of your like favorites? Um, maybe White Chicks or uh, um, <laughs> let's see, it's an older movie, uh, uh, Low Down Dirty Shame with. Uh, love that movie. <laughs> I didn't know anyone else knew about that movie. That is one of my favorite movies. I love Jada Pinkett. Uh, <laughs> one of my we, we make we make jokes about that all the time. Uh, I like I love horror movies. Um, anything that's scary. Oh, that's um, uh, Seven is a is a great movie as well with uh, Brad Pitt and. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Forty eight now. I can't remember. Yeah, Morgan Freeman, I think. <laughs> what is your go to karaoke song? Hmm. Probably uh, Music Love. My family used to make me sing that song <laughs> every function. Oh, go ahead and, and sing that music song. And I hated it for a long time. But, uh, but yeah, just, you know, when I'm on the fly and I need something quick to do, you know, probably that. 
So Drake or Kanye, who do you prefer? Ah. Kanye. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's not a Yeah, Kanye. <laughs> okay. Um leather or glitter? Uh definitely leather. <laughs> <laughs> I I kinda predicted you were gonna say that. <laughs> So, Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston? Angelina. <laughs> um, coffee or tea? Mmm, depends on what time of the day it is. Uh, <laughs> okay. Probably tea. Okay, what's your guilty pleasure? Popeyes. <laughs> uh, and hot Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love Flame of Hots. Who is your all-time like musical icon that you would just pass out if you met them? Probably Prince. Uh, I, I would say Michael Jackson, but he's not. Well, I would say either one of them, um, either Prince or Michael Jackson, if he was still still around. But uh, those two definitely, I would probably lose it. Moving on. At IM, we are huge advocates of the belief that smart is sexy. This means we value independence, intellect, and positivity over looks alone. As a guy in the entertainment industry, what are your thoughts on smart and smart is sexy? Uh, I think everybody likes someone who's smart. So uh, I think just making the right decisions and um, you know being confident uh, in in your decisions. Um, making the right moves. Everybody loves a boss, right? So <laughs> I think being smart is, is being a boss. So what quality do you find most sexy in a person? Hmm. I think it's confidence. I think, you know, you know if, if you walk in a room and, and you own who you are, uh, you know, that that's sexy. Um, is there a celebrity that you like that represents Smart as Sexy? Hmm. I think Kerry Washington is, is <laughs> very smart and, and, and sexy. <laughs> uh, uh, who else? Uh, man, it's hard. I, I think uh, you mentioned Angelina Jolie. I think she's very, you know, smart and, and sexy. Um, but again, though. Uh, uh, I think it's the same thing, just the, the confidence, you know. All right. Well, we just want to thank you so much for spending this time with us. It was an absolute pleasure to meet meet with you and talk to you. I'm sure on, on top of all your accomplishments, we'll be seeing more of you soon. But everyone, make sure you check out Stephen on Twitter at s.chris and all other social media links. Also, be sure to follow us, I am, and tweet us with who else you like to see on 10. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you.